In this video, we're going over helpful tips and tricks um, with adding a memory card on the Samsung Galaxy A12. Welcome back to another video by H2 Tech. I am your tech guide, Wayne. And if you learned something new in this video, please hit that thumbs up button below and consider hitting the thanks button to leave a tip. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And lastly, make sure you follow us on Amazon for my best tech recommendations and to be alerted every time I go live. In the video today, it's gonna to be all about uh, me sharing helpful tips and using a memory card with your Samsung Galaxy A12. So first I'm gonna show you how to insert the memory card. Then I'm gonna show you how to change your settings so that all your pictures and videos that you take will automatically be moved to the memory card. And I'll also show you how to move your current photos and videos over to the memory card to help you free up some of your space. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing is, uh, to insert the memory card, you will need to find the box of your phone and you'll have this little tool in the box. And if you ever didn't know what the heck this thing was, uh, this is basically for taking out the SIM tray. So find the box of your phone, take this out of it. If you threw that box away, shame on you. Just kidding. Find a paper clip in your house and just bend it back and it will work just the same. So the SIM tray is gonna be on the left side of the phone. You're just going to insert and just give it a quick push and that will pop out your SIM tray. Here is where we're going to insert our memory card. Now, I just wanna show you what memory card we're putting in. Now this memory card, my gosh, 256 gigabytes. This phone normally only has about 32 gigs of internal storage. I'm gonna increase my storage by eight times. You heard it right. I'm gonna have eight times the storage once I put this memory card in. Now you're probably saying to yourself, that memory card was probably super expensive. Well, it wasn't. In fact, you can get this memory card for about 40-ish dollars on Amazon. And I'm gonna leave a link below in the description. If you have any memory card lower than this amount and you pay more than 40 bucks, return it go on Amazon, click on my link and buy this memory card because you're gonna get eight times the storage. You're gonna be able to save so many pictures and videos um, using this and come on, 40, two $20 bills to have all that space. It's a no brainer. Anyway, we're gonna put our uh, memory card in the slot here and just slide it back in and just give the phone a second to register that we've inserted a SIM card. Now, what you'll notice is um, when you swipe down from the top of the screen, you will have a pop-up at the bottom that says SD card inserted. That is a good sign. And I just want to point out, I have this cheaper memory card right here I was trying to use for this video earlier and it didn't work because um, the phone won't always work with uh, off-brand memory cards. So just be mindful of that. I did insert a Samsung memory card and it's definitely good to use a Samsung or a SanDisk. Uh, definitely a reputable brand. Um, sometimes it won't recognize off-brand, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so our memory card is inserted. Now the first thing you'll wanna do is go to the camera app. Now once here, you're gonna go to the settings wheel in the upper left corner and swipe up to where it says storage location. Tap here and we wanna change this to SD card. What that's gonna do now is every time you take a picture or a video, it's gonna save it right to the memory card. This is gonna free up space on your phone and allow your phone to run a lot faster because now everything is gonna be saved to the memory card. So now that we've adjusted our settings, so all of our pictures are gonna be saved to the uh, memory card. Now I'm gonna take a few pictures so you can see where they're saved. So now if I go home and I go to the gallery app, which is where all the pictures are gonna be saved after I take them, come down to albums. I have this new folder and you'll see this folder has a little orange uh, bubble above that says new. It says camera. If you look closely, you see a camera icon and a memory card icon right at the bottom of this little square here. That's telling us that this is now the new folder where all of our photos are gonna be saved. So um, just so you don't get confused, this folder to the left here is all the pictures you took 
before you put a memory card in. These are the photos that were saved onto your internal storage. So internal storage, memory card storage. Now, if you wanna move all those old pictures over from the internal storage to this memory card, it's super easy. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Just tap on the old camera folder, the one that just has a little camera icon in the corner. And I'm gonna hold down on one picture. And at the top of the screen, after you hold down that first picture, you'll have this new option that says all. And just tap on the bubble above all. It's gonna select all the pictures. And the upper, uh, excuse me, the bottom right corner, tap on the more button. And you're gonna to go to move to album. And now I'm gonna tap on my new folder here, the one that says camera and has the picture of the memory card and the, the camera in the bottom left corner here. And it's gonna move all those pictures over to the memory card folder. So now everything is gonna be all in the same place and I'm also gonna free up some of that space that it was being taken up by my internal storage. So now that folder has gone away because it was empty and now this is my main uh, uh, album where all my photos are gonna be saved, which is on the memory card. So um, that's the work you need to do when you initially put the memory card in just to make sure that it's saving everything over to that memory card first. Now the same thing works with um, videos. If you had any old video files or pictures, you would just open those folders and follow those same instructions to move them over to this folder. Now, one important question I wanna answer because I'm sure a lot of you probably went to this video to get this answered. How do I move apps to the memory card? So, unfortunately, um, this is not supported on the phone without you um, doing some uh, advanced uh, tweaking of the phone, which are things I don't really recommend. Um, Samsung really doesn't want you to move apps to the memory card because it will kind of mess up the experience um, if your memory card is not fast enough, it can cause the phone to glitch. So unfortunately, I can't show you how to do that in this video because it's not a supported feature by Samsung. There are apps and um, special PC software you can download to make it work manually, but I don't recommend it. So I just wanted to address that. Now, the very last thing I did want to go over, which I think is a super important thing, is how to back up all your files to your memory card. So our memory card is in, it's set up, and what you may wanna do frequently is just back up all of your data, photos, videos, and things like that. You may wanna back it up to the memory card um, just as a precaution, or you might be switching phones one day and having it all backed up to the memory card helps you to easily just take out that memory card and put it in the new phone and all your files are there. So to do this, it's really simple. You're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. In the upper right corner, you're gonna tap on the settings wheel. And we're gonna swipe up. And we're gonna go into the general management section right here. Actually, you know this feature gets moved a lot. So to make this super simple, let's just swipe to the top of the screen, tap on the little magnifying glass in the upper right corner, and you're gonna type in smart switch. A smart switch is basically a Samsung app that will allow you to uh, easily transfer data. Now right here, it's gonna say bring data from an old phone, just tap here and then tap it again, bring data from old phone. And it's gonna say download smart switch. Yes, you wanna download smart switch. So basically um, this is a, um, a setting shortcut that will download the a smart switch app, which is the app you're gonna to use to either transfer files from an old phone or to back up your data to a memory card. So it's installing it right now. We're gonna see it pop up in just a second. And there's a really um, easy path to just go in and just say, hey, back up all my files to the memory card. In fact, once the app downloads, it will automatically open up just like this. We're gonna tap agree. And we're gonna go through, tap allow. 
and we're going to hit send data or actually come to the top of the screen to the memory card at the very top. And once you go there, it says backup and restore, save your data or restore from an SD card or an external USB device. Sign to your Samsung account, we can close that, no big deal. So now right here it says backup to, you're gonna tap on SD card and you're going to swipe up. And basically this is where you can select everything that you want to back up. So uh, now this is a phone that I just use for filming videos. So there is no call log, no contacts, no messages, but you can, um, once you have a call log and messages, you can just simply tap on those bubbles and it will back up all your text messages as well to that memory card. So we can go through here, apps, settings, home screen. If you had a customized picture on your home screen, it'll back that up as well. Videos, audio, documents, everything, hit back up now. And this is it, you're done. Now, one thing I do encourage you to do is, it says keep screen on, tap on that bubble, so the screen will stay on and you can monitor the progress. And all it's gonna do is back up your entire phone. So, um, for some of you guys, I would even encourage you to buy two memory cards one that you keep in the phone and another one that you can put in to back up all your files and then keep it in a drawer. If you think about it, if you ever lost your phone or got it stolen, you would have a backup of your phone on that memory card stored at home. So for that reason, I would say get two, keep one at home that's always backed up, it always has your files, and keep one in the phone that you're using for day-to-day -day things. So anyway, this has been our video. Um, helpful tips and tricks um, for using an SD card with your Samsung Galaxy A12. Our goal is to always be thorough and to educate, help you to understand what you can do with your phone and just set you up for success. So we hope we did that in this video today. Do us a favor, leave me a comment down below if the video was helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. And also make sure you Go down to the comment section below and tap on our Amazon link and follow us on Amazon so you can be alerted every time we start our live streams and do our new product recommendations. We'd love for you guys to follow us over on that platform. We've got some great things coming for you. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.